Hey guys, Sean with Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. Got another vehicle spotlight for you. It's gonna be a 2015 Ford F-250. She's gonna be on four inches of BDS lift and some 35s. Let's go! So we just wrapped up putting some suspension underneath this bad boy. So it's gonna be the Ford F-250, it's a 2015. You're gonna see that he went with the four inch BDS with the Fox shock upgrade. So you see the Fox 2.0 up there, your new coils and everything, lots of new shiny parts. And then back here, you'll see your Fox shocks sneaking around behind there. And then of course the new blocks and everything in the rear. And what we end up with is this already came in with these wheels and tires and he had to do some, I think he had some rubbing would be my guess. Now with the four inch, there's not gonna be any because the wheels are the H-E, the ha Halo, Halo, I never know how they, how they want me to say that. H-E 878 in a 20 by nine chrome. It's a negative 12 offset. So there's not gonna be any build test. It's not gonna be a lip wheel. Um, this is a wheel that's been around for quite some time. Been used to be super popular back in the day. And then it's gonna be wrapped in the Destination MTs by Firestone. And those are 35, 12 and a half R20s. So you're 35 tall, 12 and a half wide. So you have that 12 and a half wide on that nine wide, which is gonna give you plenty of protection. If you look down here, you definitely aren't gonna be bouncing off of the uh, concrete with your wheel and the old Mickey D's drive through. He's gonna be good there. Now with that set up in the four inch lift, you've got room for days because that's a 35 inch on a not overly aggressive uh, wheel and tire package for that Super Duty. If you look down the side of it, you're gonna see with those fender flares, even with the 35, 12 and a half, nine wide negative 12, he's actually gonna be tucked inside those flares because it's a larger, I believe they're like the four inch pocket style fender flares that have been on, uh, put on here. You can see he's got all sorts of protection as far as no rock chips, none of that stuff. So if you're trying to stay inside the wheel well, that nine wide negative 12 on a 35, 12 and a half will keep it inside there all day. Okay, so front to back, you're gonna see he's got a lot of the Ford accessories. So it's got that Ford protector on the hood up here, which is just a super low profile bug slash rock chip deflector that he's got on the front of it. And it's got the full chrome of the F-250 on the front. This is gonna be the Lariat package you'll see throughout. And like I said, it's got those pocket style fender flares. I didn't peek, I'm sure they're the, um... I'm not gonna tell you what brand they are because I don't see it and I don't wanna lie to you. And then you'll see it's got the Ford stock running boards. It's gonna have 20% match tint up there. So your front windows and back windows match. Back here, it's got the Ford aftermarket tonneau cover. Pretty much all the accessories seem to be the Ford brand. And then he's got Gibson dual exhaust coming out the back. I didn't peek to see if that was true dual. You'll notice it is a gasser, so don't get too upset. I know, everybody wants you to drive a diesel, because on the gram, they said that's where it's headed. Uh, it's gonna be dual just back from the muffler. So dual back from the muffler. Coming out the back, pretty much flush with the rear bumper. And then for interior, of course you got your tow mirrors, all the things that come with a big F-250 Super Duty. And then interior is really nice. It's gonna be all leather, the large screen. It's got a moon roof up there. In case you guys are wondering, we call Max Walter and Max and Walter. It's the same person. There aren't multiple people here, right, Walter? Max? Yeah. So, I told him he's gonna start showing you guys these sunroofs because I like them. 
And some of the new Fords have the huge panoramics. So this is the normal size in this F-250. But as you guys know, some of the 15 and newer F-150s have a huge panoramic roof, which I'm super jealous about. And I wish they would do in some of the GM products, but so far, not so good. But that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Like I said, we just did the four inch uh, BDS with the Fox Shock upgrade. And then, I don't know, maybe he'll be back for something a little fresher on the wheels and tires, but he's got some pretty new tires. So I think he's probably good to go. I don't know. We just build them. We don't drive them, Wally. Peace. <laughs>